All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have in my hand here something we've all been waiting for. This is the Noctua NF A12 by 25 Chromax Black Swap Fan. Hey, Rich. Yeah. Wrong fan. Uh, oh, John is right. This is a Thermaltake Tough Fan 12. My bad, right here, right here is the Noctua NF A12 by 25 Chromax Black Swap Fan. Rich. What? Dude. Uh, Sorry, this is the Fantex T30 fan right here. Thank you, John. This is the Noctua NF-A12 by 25 Chromax Black Swap fan. We have it. We are gonna do something fun with it. So let's dig into it, shall we? Long awaited and finally landing on October 11th, 2021, the Noctua NF-A12 by 25 Chromax Black Swap fan has finally arrived. The NF-A12 by 25 Chromax Black Swap has a nine blade design uses Noctua's self-stabilizing oil pressure, or SSO2 bearing, has a maximum speed of 2000 RPM, has a standard four pin PWM connector, weighs in at 190 grams, comes with six additional sets of anti-vibration pads in white, yellow, blue, green, red, and black for those looking to match their build color scheme, has a six year warranty, and goes for $35 on Newegg and Amazon. So let's get this out of the way first. The NF-A12 by 25 Chromax Black Swap and the original NF-A12 by 25 versions are essentially the same fan, made out of the same Sterox liquid crystal polymer that the original is made with, except in black color, and with the subtle difference that the Chromax Black Swap version doesn't have a center cutout showing the metal fan hub. The Chromax Black Swap version does have a 1cm PWM pigtail and a 30cm extension for a maximum length of 31cm versus the 20cm cable plus 30cm extension for a maximum of 50cm of the original NF-A12 by 25. But otherwise, these fans are identical spec-wise down to the last letter. So instead of running testing to see if there's a difference between the two, which there will not be, we're not gonna do that. Instead, we're gonna have some fun with an Octua NF-A12 by 25 Chromax Black Swap. We're going to make this the first RGB version of it, like we did with the NF-A12 by 25. Like we did the first time, we're going to cut out the center ring from the Chromax Black Swap fan, replace it with our specially designed 3D printed part, insert some digital RGBs into it, and see what it looks like. Of course, we'll compare the two RGB fans together and you can decide which one looks better. Like last time, we'll swing over to our 3D printer and print out the updated insert design we created for the fan. You can find the STL for this on Thingiverse for free if you're daring enough to do this on your own. Check the link in the description for details on that. This time we're going to print the insert using clear PETG to see if we can't increase the light throughput from the LEDs to the fan blades. Considering the fan's blades are black, it makes sense that we want to allow as much light through the print as possible. The first time we did this, we used white PLA, which still let a lot of light through, but not as much as this print will. The cool thing about the clear PETG print is that it creates an interesting lenticular effect with the light passing through it. I think it's going to look great. Now that we've printed our design, let's get to sawing. Two very boring minutes later. Five minutes later. Several months later. The following day. One thing to note, if you're gonna do this yourself, do yourself a favor and start with the half closest to the support side of the fan. It makes it easier if you only have to worry about sawing the fan blades the first half. All right, done. Now we need to make sure our edges are smooth and epoxy together the three pieces. Now that we've let the epoxy cure and the fan solid, we need to measure and cut the LED strip. Now it's up to you to decide which one you like more. 
On the left, we have the original Noctua NF-A12 by 25 we built for the first video, and on the right, the new Noctua NF-A12 by 25 Chromax Black Swap. Get down in those comments right now and tell us which one you think looks the best. We'll wait. There certainly are some interesting differences between them. The original insert was printed in white PLA and uses a different ARGB strip than our new creation on the right, which was printed in clear PETG. It's amazing how much of a difference the printed material makes in the color diffusion, and mixing that with the black blades created even more buttery goodness. They both are just so beautiful that even John and I had a hard time choosing which one we loved more, because each had a unique look to them that appealed to us differently. What's left to say here other than, oh boy, we thought our last version looked good, but this thing looks even that much better. Just the way the light plays off of the black blades is really stunning. So stunning, in fact, it was really hard to capture the full brilliance of these fans at full brightness. Because the Chromax Black Swap's frame is absolutely identical to the original, there wasn't any surprises when it came to splitting it into thirds, and printing the inner ring in clear PETG really did let in so much more light. For those of you bold enough to want to build your own, check out the STL in the link on Thingiverse and print your own. A word of caution, take your time. We used a coping saw and took it slow. It probably took three plus hours to hand saw everything apart. Another tip, if you're planning on doing this, make sure to cut the fan hub side out first, not the front top side. It'll make life so much easier. And don't get aggressive or you'll have bad cuts and uneven surfaces at best, or at worst, you'll ding up the fan's blades and ruin the fan. Thank you so much for watching our video. We would love to know what you think. Did we commit another sin against Noctua? Did you like the brown and beige version better? Get down those comments and tell us. If this is the first time you've seen us, subscribe! If you're feeling all social and want to follow us, you can find us on Twitter and Instagram. And lastly, get on our Discord. It's a great place to talk about computers, home lab, chopping up fans, and more. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again soon.